you're looking at here is the monument that signifies that this is now Colon Street and this is the oldest street in the Philippines. This is um, erected and created by the Spanish time when they arrived here in the Philippines in 1565. So from this monument, you will be seeing that we are here on the end of Colon Street that is connecting to, that's Colon Street. And that is the crossing of Mabini Street. Mabini Street, by the way, will be taking us if we walk towards the Parian. Barangay Parian, which used to be the center of the Chinese community here in Cebu City. That's why you will see a lot of the Filipino heritage, heritage house around Parian. And what's significant about Parian is this monument here signifying the fight of the Filipinos against the oppressors fighting for freedom. So from this area, if you visit um, Cebu City, you will be finding a lot of ancestral heritage, the homes of the wealthiest families in the Philippines used to be housed here in Parian during the Spanish time. This is one of the significant monument defecting the fight of the Filipinos for freedom, defecting our history, defecting the culture. So if you're interested about the history of the Cebuanos from Colon, which is the oldest street, you just go on the end and you will be looking at this monument. You'll be looking at the different ancestral home. And you can see on the side, there's the Parian Fire Station. Maybe we'll try to go inside. Okay, but at least you can see the view of this monument. That's purposely made for tourists to visit. So from the Parian Fire Station across is the Parian Police Office and their Barangay Hall. So this is one of our if you're having a city tour, you'll be taking around here in Parian. Parian means the place of the priests. But then again, during the Spanish time, the priests are like Catholic priests, friars are the celebrity of the community. So here, you can find the Parian Barangay Hall, then the police station, then the fire station, and this monument here, which we'll be crossing in a minute. So, to see if we can get in, but I don't think that there is even close. So we'll try, we'll try to enter. See, there's San Lorenzo Ruiz, we'll San to Nino. Look for the the plot where there's like a, some sort of. Story. I think it's on the front there. Yeah, yeah. The front. So we'll have a look there. But I'm trying to show you the different statue of the monument. I guess this needs some a bit of repair. Repaired. This is considered as the heritage of Cebu structure significant the moments of Cebu history uh, This is the area for uh, the original Plaza Parian in Cebu City so 
that is like a significant moment of Philip Cebuano history is in here. But if you look across, you know that house there on the side where 7-Eleven, it is another ancestral home, but as only the top has been like maintained for the wooden structure, but a lot of it is modernized for strength. I guess there's some, some restoration done to that. So here, this Magellan and during the Spanish time. So we are not allowed to go in as of the moment, but you can see that there are stories in every structure that they made. That's the during the Chinese time. This area is, is surrounded by universities still. Like yeah. you can have the University of the Visayas and over there there's the University Cebu, of USPF uh, Mabini. University. There's the so University here, of Southern Philippines Foundation branch. That's the straight to Mabini and you turn right, that will be Cologne Street. So these are the structure acknowledgement and the story. This is the heritage of Cebu. Imagine Cardinal Vidal is the chairman for the Heritage it's of Cebu Foundation. Foundation. That's why a lot of it's not been research. You know, there is actually research Heritage of Cebu Foundation, which so, unfortunately was not maintained because Cardinal Vidal is now deceased. So I think Mayor Alvin Garcia, vice chairman, but you can see there's, I've been showing you. I mean, 2000, December 8, 2000. Um, you can see there's still a lot of heritage. Ancestral homes, heritage home, but the maintenance is not there. Even this structure here, but you can understand that there's no tourism existing as of the moment. Uh, some, some so, areas over there. This is our Parian Monument. I guess it's like an office over there, but no, no one is there. I don't know. Continuing our walk, you can see up ahead, that's the Yap San Diego Ancestral Home. Okay, perhaps we could go to the Cebu Children Foundation. Yes, um, and also, and we can see what, if you want to donate to charity, what they have done. Yeah. So we have a lot to see here in Parian. And if you see this building here, Right beside the uh, San Diego ancestral home, the Lim Bonfing Ianos is 1931 building. Oh, that building was built since 1931. But look at it. I mean, see, uh, you can see up there Lim Bonfing Ianos Incorporated. It's now a warehouse serving as a storeroom for some business. Because this Parian used to be the center of Chinese commerce during the Spanish time. So like 1931, this building have actually survived the war.